Alrighty, everyone. Phil here, and welcome back to the retro react event of Heavy Rain. This is actually our fifth stream of this, which means we're probably going to get yet another 10 parts or so into the playthrough. And that means we will be in position to finish it next time around when I stream it. Um, it's been a blast so far. I've really enjoyed these streams. I hope that you guys who are here live have enjoyed them. And those watching on demand, just so you know, this series is the most viewed series on this channel. By far, the videos of Heavy Rain's Retro React are getting way more attention than anything else on the channel. And I really, really appreciate that. So thank you. And for those who have supported this playthrough in any way, whether during a live stream or maybe you became a member or maybe you left a, a super thanks on a video, thank you so very much because this is a major reason why I'm able to put the amount of work into this channel that I have. Um, and I thank you all for that. It's very nice of you to have, uh, you know, come out for these. I originally was not planning on doing this as often as I do it, but now I'm doing it more often because you guys really liked it. Okay? Awesome. Also, just to remind everyone, because some people are contributing here, yes, this is a stream where I will shout out contributions live. It's a little different from my other React channel. So Pizza Box Gaming just did a super chat and says, oh man, I just subbed and I realized I can't chat now. Uh, but I hope that you're good. I am Pizza Box. Yes, this is just like my other channels. It is a 24 hour sub only mode. So if you have not subbed to the channel yet, you can't talk until, you know, 24 hours have passed. Um, but as long as these streams keep doing as well as they've been doing, I will continue to do Retro React once a week. And we're actually talking about what the next project should be. And very soon you will likely see a poll on the main page on the community tab of this channel to vote for the next game, whatever you want to see as the next Retro React. Okay. All right. Now, guys, we're about to start. I just want to say something up front. All right. We're about to watch part 41. This part is a little infamous. All right. Reason being, as you know, this playthrough is from 2010. No, this is not me doing live commentary. This is 2010 commentary. It was a different era almost 15 years ago. YouTube was a very different place. The world was a very different place. And some of the, the commentary is that, that I've done this playthrough already, as you know, I've criticized strongly and said, oh, it's so cringe. It's just unacceptable. You know, that I said that stuff back then. It's, for me, it's the constant sexual comments. It's like, every once in a while doing one is okay. But man, some of the time I was just constantly hammering out sexual comments. It's like, oh my God, it just drives you nuts. And it's very cringeworthy today, right? I wouldn't do that kind of commentary today. I don't do that kind of commentary today, right? Well, we are about to hit up a part that is infamous for my language. And I apologize in advance for those who have never heard this part before. Some of you may be offended. Now, this is 2010 me, not 2024 me. So please understand, I would never say this kind of stuff in the modern day, but I know some people may be offended. All right, so I'm going to say up front, you might be offended with what happens in this video. Be ready for it. And I'm sorry that I did it. That's why I don't do it anymore. But I'm not going to hide the past. I'm not going to edit it and blurt it out. It's honest stuff that I did back then. You know, I'm supposed to be reacting to the real playthrough, so I am going to react to the real playthrough. Okay. Fair enough. Thank you, Pizza Box, for now a super sticker of a sweating happy face. <laughs> a very nervous happy face. I guess he doesn't know what I say in this video, right? Okay, let's do it. And by the way, we are heading into the home stretch of the game. Now the most exciting some of the most exciting stuff in the game is about to happen, including the epic game bug that made me do one of my first ever controller slams in history. And it's a doozy of a controller slam coming up. So I think we will get to that tonight as well. So tonight's going to be like momentous. We've got the infamous commentary moment everyone makes fun of. We've got the controller slam bug. We've got uh the second recap video from me finishing my second day of covering this game and then telling you who I thought was like responsible for, for the killings and everything. So we got a lot coming up tonight. This is an epic night, all right? Let's do it. Let's get started. So if you remember last time around, there was a tire treads at the crime scene of one of the victims of the origami killer. We have uh, Norman Jaden here who used his Avi, uh, Ari, excuse me, his Ari glasses to investigate and he found that these tire treads belonged to like a 1983 car and he basically tracked all the cars and he found, okay, this is the car that was involved in the killing apparently and apparently it ties to someone who works at this car repair shop and that's why he's here. I think the guy's called Jack. So he's here to track down Jack and find out what is his involvement with this car. Did he own it? Did he steal it? What's the deal? That's what he's here for. So that's where we're picking up from last week. Okay? Without further ado, here we go. Here we go. And by the way, please let me know about the volume levels. 
If it's Let's too just loud, I can lower it. Let's talk to the guy in the bulldozer first. Why not? How loud is that? Is that too loud? Because I've been doing different volume levels for different games. What do you guys think? Let me know if that's too loud. I will lower the game volume, okay? It's too loud already, you're telling me? Okay, hold on. I'll fix it right now. Okay, so I just lowered it several decibels. Please let me know how it sounds now. Ready? How is that? Is that better? Let me know if that's good or if I need to adjust it again, okay? Hey, you! Asshole! Can you stop that thing? Oh, that's Mad Jack. Oh, shit. What do you think? How does it sound now? Per Wesley Rose is perfect. Sales is still a little loud. Okay, I can lower a little more. That's fine. Okay, I went even a little bit lower. I know the volume of this is actually quite loud right now in the game. Okay, here we go. Keep adjusting until you guys say it's good. Tom and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? I'm listening. <laughs> this guy is the big ass poker face. He's completely getting soaked. Look, he doesn't even care. I was standing right in the rain. Buckets what up my head. This guy's going to cooperate. Seriously. A guy with a face like that. <laughs> This guy looks like he bit off Mike Tyson's ear. <laughs> That's how hardcore he looks. I'm looking for the uh, Sniper No Simon says $100 to do a shot of whiskey to cozy up. I, I don't have any whiskey. Yeah, I don't have any whiskey right now in my house. I think the only, uh, the only liquor I have in my house right now is tequila and the leftover Long Island iced tea mix that I had from the Super Bowl event. That's it. And that's the only two things I have. But, yeah, no whiskey. Okay. A blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how Again, the who says a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83? What human says that? They say a 1983 Chevrolet Malibu, not an 80, a, a Chevy Malibu 83. Who says it that way? And why did the, everyone read it like that? Like, whoever wrote the, the script, why did one of the voice actors be like, this is, I'm not saying it like this. No human would say that. They all read it like robots. They sound like AI reading a script, right? It's so bad. Not here, whether you stole it or not, I just want to know who bought it from you. Sorry, ma'am. Don't ring a bell. Oh, shit. I got a real bad memory for names. <laughs> Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. You try to scam me with your big talk. I'll use my ninja moves. your damn car. Now take a walk. Oh boy, gotta do this one the hard way. Okay, so is the volume good? Before we continue, I just want to make sure I adjusted it fine. Is it sounding better now, everybody? Every Everything I've been doing recently is different because I got filters on my mic. I adjusted the mic volume. I just want to be sure it sounds good before we get into it and then everyone's like, oh, I didn't hear half of it. Are we good? <clears throat> Storm Force Gamer says thumbs up. It's great. It's a good mix now. Thank you guys. Okay, let's do it. And prepare your butts for my commentary coming up. I'm not proud. <laughs> I'm not look proud. Confused myself. Fuck this guy. Oh, duty stains on his chair. I can't see shit. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, fingerprints. So this is gonna be his. Yeah. Shout out to Brosov that is super chat. He says, Happy St. Patrick's Day. Try to find me some lucky charms. Uh, I don't think lucky charms are actually involved with St. Patrick's Day. Just so you know, I'm pretty sure that uh that is uh not as a corporate invention. It's not actually tied to the holiday. Alright, thank you for the super chat. Nothing else in here? A Merry Christmas poster. How delightful. <laughs> what the hell did I find? What the hell is that? Footprints. It looks like maybe blood. Huh. Blood? Yeah. Now why is there blood here? That's a great question. Hmm. Where's it going? No, where are you going the wrong way? Go over there. I get. There's more. 
it's there, but don't you want to see where it goes? The blood tracks lead to the acid to bath. To the acid bath. Uh-oh. Threw a body into the acid bath. Better be careful. He doesn't knock your ass in there. <laughs> It's like uh, the dead pits or whatever, the dead pool in Mortal Kombat. Remember Mortal Kombat 3? The, or Mortal Kombat there's 2? There's a body in there. Yeah, Holy look, there's a body. Oh, shit. We gotta arrest this asshole yep. right now. Yep. Uh-oh. Now, you knew that was gonna happen. Your cop buddies asking too many questions. Oh, your cop buddies, really? I had to up his little mouth. Whoa, he killed a cop. I don't need no gun to beat your ass, boy. your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Wow. Mass murder. Come on, give me a reason. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, he pushed me in the balls. <laughs> Dodge that shit. Oh, yeah. Crazy ball shot. It's fucking Ahmed Johnson. Look out. I think oh, Norman can die shit. here. He's so nimble. I think he can Jack, die here nimble. if he screws this up. Jack, Mike Tyson off the car. Oh shit, get the gun. Get the gun, get the gun. Got it. Alright. That was easy enough. Enough fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. <laughs> Shoot him in the balls. That's how you fucking get on this top. Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill all of it. Guy pissed me off. You don't scare me, Mr. CSI. Oh, God. You ain't got it in you. Let's see. I've no time to lose, Jack. I wanna know who that car belongs to. What you want don't mean shit to me. Can I shoot him in the leg? No snitch. You already killed her. I can you shoot him if I want. Up now, boy. Is that how it works? Did you hear what I said? He's already a killer. You can shoot him if you want. Oh, I'm not sure it works like that. I think if you just shoot him in the leg right now, you'd probably be in big trouble. Just saying. Uh, impress. Gasoline. Gasoline. There you go. Do you like fireworks, Jack? Because I bet them gas tanks are going to blow up real nice. Shit, man. Don't mess with the gasoline. Uh, just say it was an accident. Or rather, I'll say it was an accident because you won't barely be able to talk, will you? That's right. You'll be crisp and Cajun, Jack. Delicious. You out of your mind, man. <laughs> no, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the question in kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon. Ah, was done. Paco Blue at the Blue Lagoon. Lagoon. Oh, Remember, really? last week, Madison was at the Mad Doctor's place to try to get meds, but also to find out because he was the owner of the apartment that Ethan went for his trial, and he also had mentioned Paco at the Blue Lagoon, and she had gotten the Blue Lagoon evidence piece or whatever. So now it's all starting to come together. Pretty cool, right? Excellent. Continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Uh-oh. Oh, no, the withdrawals now of all time. Uh-oh. <laughs> Anything you say can and will be... You know, just shoot him. <laughs> yep. Just shoot him. Like you got a problem, man. <laughs> Blue Lagoon is just the, the same, uh, same hit from two people now. Uh-oh. No. He's looking for the Fuck. drug. Five buttons, great. Six buttons, great. Seven buttons, great. Oh, he did the drug. This time, or he was gonna kill me. I had to do them. See, I think it sucks, but what are you gonna do? I totally think that's bullshit. And the reason I think that's fucking bullshit is because you didn't get a choice between taking the drug or not. All you're presented with is a quick time event, and you don't know what's actually gonna happen in the quick time event. In fact, you can't even see that the drug is in his nose because blurred. And then by the time you finish the quick time, he's already sniffed the the what do they call it? the triptocaine, I think it's called. And I don't, I don't agree with that at all. I think that's completely unfair um, that you do that because I didn't want him to do it. My goal was in this original run, I didn't want him to do any of the drugs. But after it happened, I'm like, oh, well, I guess you had to do it. It seems like it was necessary, right? Now, just so you guys know, we may one day do the alternate choices. 
And if you do the alternate choices, you can choose to not, you can fool, like fail the quick time. And if you do, you don't do the drug, but then there's another fight with Jack and you have to win that fight. And if you don't win the second fight, you die. And that's the end of Norman Jamin's story. And I think, I don't remember if I did that in my second run or not, but that's crazy to me that they don't really present you with the option, right? Like if you, the whole playthrough, you're trying to keep him from taking the drug. And then all of a sudden you just accidentally take it. Like, I don't I think that's kind of messed up. Um, Rush fan, good evening. How you, how's it doing? Whoa, hold on a second. I just received a very generous $50 tip from Lisa Lou. Thank you very much, Lisa Lou, for a very generous contribution here tonight on the Throwback channel. Now, I don't know if this animation is going to play. It is playing. Cool. I was going to say because I haven't refreshed this in like a week and sometimes it times out. Thank you, Lisa Lou, so much. Shit. <laughs> And let's get the Gunner Glasses going. That's an awesome start to the night. Thank you so very much, Lisa Lou. Cool. Ugh, they're filthy. Okay. All right, so let me just make sure there's not another one, and we'll continue. I'll hit play while I uh, clean these. <laughs> All right, excellent. Thank you, Lisa Lou. Uh, and... Let's continue. Here we go. Seven buttons I had to hold down at once. <laughs> now, wait a minute. If this is the end, then this is not what I thought of. Oh, you know what? This is not it. Well, now we have two people who's clues. So, I take it back. The commentary that I was embarrassed about is not in this playthrough. It must be in the alternate choices playthrough. Because I did some commentary in this scene, and, and I know I did it. I remember it. People have called me out for it many times. And I guess I didn't do it in the first run. So, there you go. No, I didn't edit. I swear to you, that's the raw... That's the raw playthrough. I did not edit anything for this. So that it must be in the alternate choices run then. Yeah. All right, so there you go. Let's continue. All right. The blue I guess I was a little too worried for no reason. Both said Paco. So who the fuck is <laughs> I did a whole commentary warning so for no reason. The girl is what that means. All right, back to Shelby. We were also, we were also worried. <laughs> All right. What's he going to uncover now? All he knows is someone killed Manfred. <laughs> okay, so what? He knows what's Shelby up to? Five typewriter. Thursday, 4:30 p.m. Three six three point six seven two inches. Here we go. So you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Huh. Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. Huh. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Mm -hmm. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think... The killer could have subscribed to one of those. If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Huh. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able oh, to... Oh, is this the infamous bug? Like. There's a bug coming up. This might be it, and it might be Sorry, hilarious right. if this is what I think I'm it is. Let's see. Soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Let's see if this is it. I can't. There we go. Yes, I did play the PS4 version of this that years later. Eggs. I did I did do another run of this when the PS4 version came out, but that was many years later. The eggs have now are no longer standing up. They've fallen Oh, the over. eggs fell over. They're not upright. <laughs> Probably. Oh, you know, I know why. Because he had to pick them up. That's exactly why. Because the game needed them to be animated, so it's not the same egg model from before, so they're in a different position now. And he doesn't need a carton because he's amazing like that. She's taking a shower, and even though she doesn't have a change of clothes, what the fuck is she gonna wear? Bartholomew, <laughs> making the fast scramble bagel. Now for my secret ingredient bourbon. 
Uh, he probably would put bourbon in it, knowing him. Oh, you didn't even turn on the burner. Oh, I guess that's right. I have to scramble them first. Duh. What the fuck? There it is! The weirdest thing just happened. Look! The, it, I, I don't think you can see it now, though. Fuck. They're gonna show it. For a split Look at this! Oh, no, you can see it. See, there's two floating eggs. <laughs> Do you see the two floating eggs? <laughs> They're floating above the pan. Look at that. He's got scrambled eggs and two floating fucking sunny side up eggs. What the hell is Amazing. that? Amazing. <laughs> Duplicate. It's He's like egg master. like cellular uh, cellular separation, right? Like some single cell creatures can separate into clones of themselves. The eggs have separated like zygotes into other eggs that now float. I am the amazing egg wizard. I have the amazing ability to make eggs float above while I make eggs below. <laughs> you ordered those special anti gravity eggs from the supermarket, obviously. I think you need to do something with the eggs, like get a plate and put them on the plate. Or else they burn. Oh no! Look at that, they're still floating. That's hilarious. Get them, get the eggs, turn it off. Hilarious, they're still floating. There we go. Are they gonna stay there forever? That'd be great. Every time you go in this kitchen, there's two floating eggs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're still there. floating eggs there forever. <laughs> Haunted kitchen, like Ghostbusters 1. He opens up his his and he says, Zool, motherfucker, Zool! <laughs> Completely plain scrambled eggs. No seasoning, nothing added, just the plainest scrambled yeah, eggs you could ever eat. You your bathrobe? Oh boy. Looks better on you. There's no fucking way that's his bathrobe. You see how small that bathrobe is? What's that gonna fit on one of his legs? <laughs> There's no way. Look at that. Hey, that's that absolutely ridiculous. Looks good enough to eat. Well, I'm gonna eat the floating eggs. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. <laughs> Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The origami list. The list of subscribers to origami magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. But, but Lauren, wait. <laughs> Yes, her accent is awful. I told you, all the accents in the game are way off. I Okay, so I've been saying this entire time that it's French-Canadian. Apparently, I'm wrong. Apparently, it was just pure French. Like, the people who made this game, this, this Quantic Dream Division, they were just pure French. So it's basically French people doing English voice acting, and that's why they all have the off pronunciations and everything. So, not even Canadian. They're just pure Frenchies. <laughs> Stop. If the killer really used Take the floating the eggs with you. <laughs> and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is the here fuck? somewhere. Help me. Move. Find him. He's spinning in place. Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> Shelby, Shelby sounds American because I believe his actor actually is American. I think out of the entire cast, Scott Shelby's actor that he cast an actual American, and everyone else was French. I believe that's the case. I could be wrong, but I think that's what happened. Better fucking detective than he is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can find it easier if you shove your tits in my face. Here we go again. So basically, if she didn't grab that book of information from Manfred, they never would have had a lead. Uh oh, what'd she find? It would be nice if you could hear what she found, but he's found fucking, match. He's silent now. Okay. I guess they're gonna go investigate whoever this is. The only is. guy whose name is on both lists died when he was ten. Ah. So <laughs> Pick up his coffin, make sure he's dead. <laughs> I know it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here. Son. John Shepard? Okay. John Shepard, brother of Commander yeah, Shepard. He went here. on <laughs> to become a great space captain in the future. In a different game franchise entirely, as we know. She's convinced she's on to something. And here's me, thinking we're wasting our freaking time in this freaking cemetery. <laughs> you know, I will say this. 
So of all my older playthroughs from back in the day, this is one that honestly, even though the visuals are very blurry, I don't actually think that using the camera and putting it at the TV really hurt the playthrough that much, right? Like, it films okay. Like, you can tell everything that's going on. Yes, the text is blurry and the white is too washed out and everything. But unlike a lot of the other playthroughs where everything looked like shit and half the time you can't even tell what's going on, in this one, it actually isn't that bad. Maybe that's why this one ended up getting so many views at the time. I don't know. A lot of my other playthroughs looked terrible. Cold. It's raining. I'm standing outside getting soaked. Oh, how I love my job. Another audio fuck up. Great. Yeah, it skipped. <laughs> this girl knows her mind all right. No point in trying to reason with her. All right, well, can we do very blasphemous in this graveyard? Let's see. That girl is one really determined chick. Take a crap on someone. Uh. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about Excuse me. Here I am, standing I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name is John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. The next plot, further up here. Thanks. Uh huh. Uh, Brandon says, hey, DSP, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I love this playthrough of yours. Good luck tonight with the chill commentary and re-experiencing it. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I received another contribution. I received a $20 tip um, from Jay Wizard, who says the following. Let's play the animation first. Let's see what Jay Wizard has to say. Here we go. Thank you, Jay Wizard. Jay Wizard says... I'll be watching this on demand later. I want to snip out, stop in and show some appreciation. Thank you so much for the continued Heavy Rain React. Love the game. Looking forward to the next game after we finish this one. Have a good night. Excellent. And again, we need to determine what that will be. And likely next week as I uh, conclude this Heavy Rain playthrough, uh, I think I will actually uh, put up the poll for what the next game will be. Pretty cool. Okay. Excellent. All right, I want to. I think we should finish this scene before we split the part. So, try to finish this scene this if we can. Then. Hey Scott, where are you going? John Shepard's grave must be somewhere around here. Did anyone ever tell you you shouldn't shout in the cemetery? No. <laughs> Take it easy. The dead don't mind. Wow. It's in the next plot, so I was heading over there, but okay. Children's plot. Okay. Would there really be a big gravestone that says children's plot? Eugene I don't know about that. You really have to check everyone. Anderson. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead, a little further out. Oh, thanks. Okay. What, no tip? <laughs> Jones. What's up, King Michael? Good evening. Russell Howard. Gary Coleman. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. Josh Shepard. Found it. All right. There's origami on it. You saw the little origami on it? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. There's your evidence. I think you figured it out. Okay. Who is he? And or are those Flowers orchids? Are fresh. Doesn't look like orchids, though. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. Hmm. I remember what happened. It was in 77. Uh oh, comes a grisly story. Oh, it's the Haitian. The Haitian knows what happened. The Haitian? Then he'll just erase all our powers and we won't be able to do anything about again, it. Again, again, I'm not even kidding. That's another Heroes reference. I have all these Heroes references in this playthrough because Heroes, I it just ended on TV at the time and it was fresh in my mind. So many different references. All right, this is a good spot to split the part because the next part is a flashback that's going to give backstory. So thank you all for watching the Retro Reactive Heavy Rain. I will see you in the next part.